Hey, hi there, you guys, Aquarius. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And I really want to thank you guys, Aquarius, for supporting my channel. Those likes and the subscribes and the comments and those donations. Thank you so very much. I really thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck and one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Aquarius, this is the overall theme of the reading. The Knight of Wands. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be a Sagittarius, as I do read knights as mutable energy. This is something that's got you fired up. You're feeling passionate. The movement is quick. This can be a journey or an adventure, a bold move, a quick departure. Knights also represent the coming or going of matters. This can be travel to fun places. Knights are messengers and travelers. This can also indicate career changes on the horizon. Now, this can be a passion for a cause. It may hasten the pulse. It spikes the adrenaline. And then knights charge, charge after this. They're always on a passionate mission, in and out of the scene. This can be discovering new solutions. It can also be a man that's filled with energy. They could have blonde hair with blue or hazel eyes. They would be energetic and enthusiastic. They are confident and daring. This is a kickstart that spurs you on. You may be riding towards an encounter. It's being poised for this pursuit and action. Could be good news. This can also be a change of residence or a job. If this is a person that's bearing the message, they can be trusted and they're faithful. As a person, this can be someone that's impatient with details. They're hasty and impatient. They might find managing their money is a challenge. They're very impulsive. They're very passionate. And they're eager to show what they're made of. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Aquarius. The Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This could be a Gemini. Gemini could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. That's two knights together that can represent intimacy. This can represent someone who is headstrong and impatient. Their delivery is movement. This is swift movement. With action and speed. They are on a white horse. This could be a pure message. Now, in this position, these energies are restricted. It brings in a challenge. This can represent someone that has a lack of commitment to an idea or a cause. Or maybe they're just taking a less aggressive approach. They could be staying silent, putting on the brakes. They might be listening before they charge in. Could have been just because they don't want to come on too strong. This can be extravagance. Or someone does not wish to have a confrontation. The Knight of Wands with the Knight of Swords is an emotional upheaval. It can leave you feeling drained. This can be the pursuit of a relationship. It is bold and it's courageous. 
but it warns of recklessness or careless behavior. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Aquarius. The King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a Taurus. That bull's head is a sign of stability and wealth and security. This is someone that is slow moving. They can be a savvy business person. And they are materially secure. This can be an, invest an investor, a father, a boss. They're kind and dependable and they're materially oriented. And they have a lot of ambition. They're very clever in business matters, like a financial wizard. This is a sensual person and they treasure comfort. They're generous, but they always consider what is in it for them. They are thoughtful and considerate. They would be a good husband, husband and family man. They're calm and patient, but they can get upset when loved ones act erratically. This can represent the fulfillment of desires or something tangible is about to complete. The Knight of Wands with the King of Pentacles, this ushers in success related both to stability and money. It can represent someone who is a finance man. It's also advice not to give in to anxiety if you're not where you want to be. Here's your fourth card. It's a card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Aquarius, this is one of your cards. Number zero of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Fool. This card is ruled by Uranus. Now, this is someone who is on the edge of a brand new beginning. This is a new path. It's innocence and lightness and trust. A choice being offered. It could be a karmic lesson. This is an entrance, but not quite there yet. And it's a beginning, and trusting life, and taking that blind leap of faith, and having absolute faith in the universe. It's taking steps and taking a risk. This can be a new and unexpected opportunity out of nowhere. It can be new and unfamiliar, a surprise. And now anything is possible, and there is unlimited potential. Someone may act on a whim. They could be taking life as it comes, and enjoying the moment. They can be simplifying. But be careful not to be too impetuous. Do not act without thought or care. Someone could be making it up as they go, and they're facing the world carefree. And now it's a time for a brand new adventure. So use an open mind and stay open to surprises. A choice is offered. Try a new approach. This is a very important beginning. The Knight of Wands with the Fool card, this is a passionate leap into or towards a new beginning. It can be travel, a spontaneous good time, and someone up for an adventure. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're consciously aware of, but you're not other letting other people know this. Aquarius, the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is like having a mini sun in your reading. Aces are portals between the realms of the major and the minor arcana cards, and this is a gift from the universe. It's prosperity, a healthy beginning, this is the suit of the merchants. It can be new money, new success, new opportunities, an opportunity for real concrete growth. This is a potential to build upon. It can be a new foundation for the future, and it's life enhancing. It can be money in your hand. This is a chance to improve your health. It's a good time for home improvements. It's good to go into nature and ground yourself. That helps bring in new opportunities. You're about to experience some great accomplishments. 
This is a new beginning in a financial situation. Could even be a contract. It's a positive reward. A lump sum of money. A gift. In love, this is saying yes to love. It's a fresh start. It could even be through work or business, and you'll feel blessed and secure in this relationship. And they bring in a grounding influence. It's the realization you're on the correct path. It's luck and recognition, being practical and focused on desired results and practical matters. The Knight of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles can be home moves, new beginnings, and contracts. This is a passionate golden opportunity. It can be a property purchase. It can also represent a businessman. It could be turning a hobby, hobby into a career. It's material gain from a great idea. The Knight of Swords with the King of Pentacles. This is resisting unreasonable demands. It can be a financial ultimatum delivered that's impossible to ignore. Someone could be protecting their business. They'll need to pace their self. This is someone doing it well or they're doing it fast. It can be a solid person that sends a message in an overly blunt way. The Knight of Swords with the Fool card is... Or someone could be rushing in foolhardy. They're boldly going where no one else will dare. Could be rushing in and boldly into a new endeavor. It's taking chances. Exploring a new path with an unconventional approach. The Knight of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles is a logical opportunity that you can learn from. And money changes things. This can be a fast message about new money or a new opportunity. The King of Pentacles with the Fool card is new business opportunity. This can actually be a cavalier attitude that can protect you from stress and damage. The King of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles is new abundance. This can be endless abundance. This can be a gift from a stable mentor. It's also a new business cycle. The Fool card with the Ace of Pentacles is the offer of a new career which requires training. This can be a new beginning with a financial potential. It's a risky venture, and that could make you wealthy. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number 42, Chop Wood, Aquarius. Card number 42, Chop Wood. Well, as an Aquarius myself, I, I want to claim this reading. Chop Wood means being grounded in everyday experience and humility. Well, we've mentioned being grounded a couple times already. There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it's in full blossom. The mundane act of pulling off the dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to be to nature so it can take its course is an important step in manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goal brings you into a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which bring you ever closer to what you seek. Thanks, you guys, Aquarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember goes around comes around so i'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings thanks for watching